well, because it's all one ofs. What difference does it make? They're already playing, so go ahead and uh, just commentate this, I guess. I don't know how they don't know how it works around here by now, but. Got uh, Tyler on Jun versus Anthony on Zoo. Um, Inquisition. What is that flip card? Uh, that that is Arlen Cord. <laughs> Yikes! Two Arlen yep. Cords. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I see it. I you see it scribbled. Do you understand now. why I was calling this trade binder now? <laughs> it kind of is. I don't like to refer to it li as that, but it, it kind of is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm commentating it. <laughs> Anthony barges into. Hey, we started already. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, what is he picking? So, I don't know. It kind of depends on what he's got. Uh, yeah, I imagine Knight is one of the stronger ones, but uh, I could have seen potentially taking that Lightning Helix if he had a threat he wanted to survive. Especially if he, had, if he was stocked up on removal. I see now he's kind of not... What is that? What is what? I think I saw a lightning skeletal in his hand. Uh, <laughs> that's possible? People have been trying to play that card? I Yeah, I don't think it's a bad card. It's for four. Puts Tyler to 16. Tyler down to 15 off that pain. I'm nurturing Peatland. Black, red, red. Get in for six. Make you discard two. I feel it should be 11 to 15. Yeah. Jeez, Skelemental hits hard. Discard two cards. He's thinking. What is he getting rid of? I don't know that Skelemental is the kind of card this deck wants to be playing, but it's definitely an interesting card. Well, uh, he could be on, like, Unearths. Uh, yeah, that's possible. I mean, let's see. I've got his board right in front of me right now. It's a pretty standard. Plague Engineer. Good to get back with uh, Unearth. Collector Oof, Fulminator. Yeah, he's got some some reasonable on Earth targets, so I could see. I'm not gonna act like that's a that these aren't just good sideboard cards, also, but they're fine to hit with an unearth, so that would lend itself to that theory. A second Skelemental in hand. Huntmaster of the Fells. You were wrong. It wasn't Arlen Cord. It was Huntmaster. Oh uh, well, there is also an Arlen Cord in this deck. Yeah, I'm aware. So, what are we doing here? Yeah, I'll take these boards out in a second. Uh, what are life totals? Did he swing in with... Um, yeah, he just swung in with a Spellbreaker for four. So, 11-11. Bolt that Huntmaster. Trophy. Spellbreaker? Yeah. Wolf will be getting in for three shortly. Yep. You ever Assassin's Trophy a token? Um, I'm sure I have at some point. I, I most likely have. Somebody terrified, screaming in complete agony out there. I feel for them. There are quite a few zoo decks this weekend to be open. They're doing pretty well, too. Yeah, I'm... I think that the deck is pretty good against a fair amount of the stuff that Hogak loses to. Uh, Decks with lots of hate. Sure. Like mainboard hate, I mean. Yeah, if you're if you're putting a bunch of mainboard hate cards in your deck and not more traditional cards that interact with aggro decks, maybe. Lily. Minus. What are you getting rid of? It's got to be noble, right? He's got so many lands. Yeah. Yeah. Do you kill Liliana? As Anthony, I don't even know. I kind of want to kill it.
Here's the I'm second Liliana. No, 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 I'm, I'm yeah. aware. It's just if Anthony makes the decision to go after this Liliana, uh, it makes playing second Liliana better. Whereas second Liliana to be used as a removal spell for a token looks really bad if it blows up your first Liliana. Nice blood crypt draw. Got his land. I'm not sure what he's going to discard here, though. It may be the land. He's going to discard second Liliana. I don't know if I like that. I'd rather just not plus and just kill the wolf with it. I don't know. All right, I managed to crash the YouTube page. Nice. You've broken it. YouTube is down. YouTube is rip, ripping pepperonis. Yeah, it's, it's just broken. Broke. Ice cream machine broke. Un oh. Yeah, you should be at four, All right? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Anthony, where are you going? Upstairs. Got a two-turn clock. It's fair. Ass trophy. Anthony grabbing another land. Another one. Alright, well, there's a knight uh, that just dies to Liliana if he wants to cash it in here. Uh, if he has literally anything else to do in his hand, he probably should just cash this in here and play something else out. Um, I could see... Unless he has, like, a Goyf to block it, but I think it's probably bigger than Goyf at this point, so... Yeah, he's just gonna trade. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's a pretty reasonable follow up. Get in. Put you to five. Discard your only card. Oh my gosh. Hex drinker. What? Level. Level. Put the level counters on it, my man. He's not gonna not going to pay one life to level it again. It's going <laughs> to die to bolt. No, I mean, yeah, it still dies to bolt. He'll die to bolt. <laughs> Everything is dead to bolt right now. Uh, if he did, if he does that. So instead, just do the levels next turn. He'll make it how big? 4-4? Four, I four? think it's a 4-4 four, four if he had gotten to the sad. second stage. That's sad. Attempt to put another level on it. Reminder, level up only as a sorcery. Yeah. Got it. Anthony should have waited. Um, it's at level four that it that it goes up, right? I have no idea. Pull it up. Pull up the card. Because you should just do it in response to the level. It's th no, it's three. Oh, okay, it is level three. All right, mm -hmm. then then he then that was right. Yeah, you do it in response to the level before it gets the benefits because the level counter isn't on it yet. Inquisition, you know, I have a land. Alright. Is he going to pop the peatland? Is he going to wait? Uh, well, he's never tapping it again this game, so I would assume he just cashes it in here. Yeah. Knight okay. of the Reliquary. Uh, it's a lethal attacker, so I'm going to try to draw a card to get out of this. What is this? Untap. Very excited. Not excited. Uh, oh, no. Uh, how big is that? <laughs> Fairy? It's like massive. One, two, three, four. Is it only four? It's a six six. That means the skeletal can trade with it. He has to block it. <laughs> so that's a removal spell. <laughs> yeah, if he had played the fetch land out of his hand. <laughs> but yeah, he was sandbagging it for no value basically. Alright. Oh my god. 
this game continues. That 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 can only and now, be now he plays a misplay. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. there's literally no world where that was a better play. Can't can't ever crack this fetch land really. I've got their sideboards in my hand, ready uh, to run okay. out. Okay. <sighs> Do you put the counter on it? No, I, no. Think, I think you just put, think him, you to just one. put him to one. He's got a fetch land in play, is why. <gasps> what? What? Helix you? <laughs> oh no no he went. Oh he because he had the helix okay. Well, he went fetch, like he was gonna. Oh, I think I know what he was gonna do. No, wait, that would have. No, been no. I thought he was about to activate raging ravine and block. Yeah, give give him his back. Yeah, I'll give these back. They need them. All right, so we saw Anthony sideboard earlier. Uh, basically, the same opinion on his last time because last time he was up here against Jund. Uh, so on Tyler's side, uh, I don't know. Following your mage, maybe it's the same. It's the same situation as last time, right? Yeah, it's like basically nothing on either of these sides is that great. To bring in, bring in plague engineer, name human. Uh, sure. That gets noble hierarch. It gets. Gets knight of the reliquary. Uh, <laughs> it's death fetch. Sure. I imagine a death fetch blocker is honestly better than some cards in this matchup. Wait, does it have death fetch? Yeah. I don't think it does. It does. I literally just held the card in my hand a second ago. Huh. The first word on the card, and it's a 2-2. Two, two. I've not had to play against this card before. <laughs> oh, no, I had. I did once, and then I just killed it and ignored it. But Yeah. But it has Death Fetch. It, I, this is honestly better than some cards in this matchup. I won't act, I won't act like it's a lot, but... Is this a matchup where you board out all your discard? Probably, right? I don't even know. Maybe. Let's think. Discord, discard's bad to top deck, right? Obviously. Right. But there's so many cards that you don't want him to have. Um, right? Post board, he's definitely bringing in Thrun and Sh Shalai, which you don't want him to have. But yeah, how, but how do you know that if you're Tyler? How do you, you have do any idea what's coming in? If you're well, I imagine you just go, he's got some sick sideboard cards, I bet. Although, what if his sick sideboard cards are ley lines, right? Ah, fuck. That's rough. There's no Well, way. he doesn't have answers for those in his sideboard, so what does he care? Well, no, no, no. That makes it so keeping discard in is bad. If you go, ah, he has some sick discard. Right. If, I don't has, if you go, ah, I think he has some sick sideboard tech. Let me bring in my, let me keep my discard in. And then you think about it, and you you ne you mind game yourself down to the next level. And you go, what if his sick sideboard tech is ley lines, so my discard is dead? It's just a, stu it's a stupid mind game is what yeah. it is. You should just ignore it. Ignore the sideboard cards. Ask yourself how you answer what what just happened. To be honest, nothing in a sideboard is that good. I could see trimming some discard for Plague Engineers. Maybe that's it. Yeah, I mean, Death Touch blockers would have saved him. Fulminator Mage, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty normal John Hand. Seems fine to me. You have some discard, some removal, and a creature. That's good enough. All right, all right. All right, let's see what Anthony's working with then. Um, I think the most annoying creature here is probably two blood braid the elves. voice of resurgence. Oh my god, he's never getting to cast. No, those. he's never casting those. But he has them. <laughs> That's why. He's also wait. He's also never casting the voice. <laughs> still get rid of it. It's still scary. Yeah, it is still scary. Why? What? What? What compelled him to keep this hand? He now has a third four drop in his hand, <laughs> and he leads on stirring wildwood. That card is god awful. Why is that in his deck? 
I'm trying to think, like, on the tier list of, of Manlands, that is, like... In these colors? Uh, it's probably the best, honestly. Well, in his colors, right? Yeah. No, 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 Raging Ravine is better. Oh, wait, yeah. Why isn't that just playing Raging Ravine? Uh, the, the th- Well, because he's more green white than green red. Uh, but but let me think about the two color the two color man land tier list just the two color ones. There is a total of two that are worse than this. Uh, Lava claw reaches. Yes. And uh, uh, wandering fumarole. And that's debatable. No, fumarole is better than this. Is it? Honestly. Also, also debatably worse. Lumbering falls. But needle spires. That is better. Yeah. That is clearly yeah, better. Yeah, it definitely is. Lumbering Falls is debatably better. I won't say it's guaranteed better. Because Lumbering Falls has never made its way into a modern deck. This has to be take the tracker, right? Yeah, that card is stupid. If you let him get tracker into play, you like that's like one of the ways you lose. It this doesn't game. look like Knight's ever getting any bigger than a two two, so I think you can pretty safely just take the tracker and it's fine. Yeah, you take Tracker. What does he got? Hex Drinker, Bob in hand? Is there a third card? Uh, I see a land. Uh, what's land. what's behind the land? Uh, it's a Fatal Push. Yeah. Take take the Tracker. That's the scary card. Knight can get pushed. Fetch. So this is probably Fetch and then play Bob. Yeah. I want to see him fetch a basic, probably basic mountain. If he plays it. Yeah, they usually have one. Yeah. Beautiful basics, might I add. Uh, one, two, three card types? Yeah. So 17. Anthony out here, looking very strong. Wild Nakato is a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Do you think he brought in Plague Engineer? Do you think he can <laughs> play uh, Plague no. Engineer and name Cat? That would be funny. Hey, I mean... Uh, do you name Cat or do you name Warrior? Probably warrior, uh, to be honest. There's no other warriors in here. There's no other cats in here. Yeah. It's probably warrior. Warrior Warrior is like more of the mind game, like I got you. I it, it would probably make Anthony doubt himself. He'd be like, Is something in my deck a warrior? Oh no. I'd be terrified. My opponent named a warrior. Swing for one. What <laughs> sure. Bob cannot do a thing. What I is mean, he thinking about? Wait. What? Wait. <laughs> Excuse me? Why did he wait to grow it until after combat? Okay. Sure. You have a Knight of the Reliquary now that it can just be bolted. I think he just kills both of his creatures and then plays Hex Drinker. To be honest... Yeah, it's probably worth pushing, but I was about to say you might not even have to. No, probably not. This is this is four card types now. Yeah. Yeah, this game is very over. Oh, I missed what card he flipped off a of Bob. I don't know. I don't know what his the name the was. card was um. Whatever third card is in his hand. Okay, well. He'll show it in a second. I think it's Inquisition. I'm just gonna remove one life and assume that that's correct. He'll show it in a second, I swear. I swear, dude. Please believe me. He's fetching now. Uh, probably <sighs> so he can cast Bloodbraid Elf and hope. Sure. That, does that he not have Basic Mountain? He probably doesn't. <laughs> There's no way he has Basic Mountain in his deck. If he grabs a Basic Mountain, I feel good for him. If he shocks this in... He has to shock it in. Yeah, and then he goes to eight, and then... Uh, the only question here is, does he does he play Bloodbraid, or does he play Huntmaster? It is Inquisition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if he grabs Sacred Foundry, I'm going to kill this man. I don't man. think he has a mountain. I see him passing Sunbaked Canyons. <laughs> yeah. There, <if laughs> he's, he's got other... Ri- there's no There way. it is. Okay, 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 okay. Is he going to choose this anyways? What? What do you need triple white for? 
Play bird off, try to get a path or something. Yeah, that's how he gets out of this. I think that's his best line. I don't think it started like that, though. He has a basic mountain, bro. <laughs> He's not taking two extra damage for no reason. I can't think of any situation where he'd need triple white. When you try to uh, when you try to auto lock on to the enemies and it it auto lock ons to your teammate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what game has that problem, but I sure. No, no, I, I don't know either. But it. <laughs> All right, I have two blockers now. Yeah, please put that in as a four four. Please tell me he knows that's an option. Okay, good. He plays it with haste so much. I don't I I don't want to assume Anthony doesn't know things, but. Sometimes Anthony is a little bit of a little bit of a eccentric Are these guy. both berserkers? Hold on, let me look up the card package. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a warrior. Okay. I'm looking down there and it's a warrior, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it is a warrior. That's sad. That should be a berserker. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Uh you did just miss him losing three life to Plague Engineer getting flipped. Yeah, yeah. So what is Tyler up to? Does he play Plague Engineer? By the way, this would have been a reason to name Warrior on Wild Nagato yeah, if he had yeah, had it. There it is. But then that just makes it a 3-3. Three, three. Or well, no, no, no. So, it, so the, the correct thing to do, I think, is you, you hold it, right? And then you, you play it post-combat. Oh, okay, or he can just do that. Protection from instant. Wait, wait, wait. Why did he put four counters on it? Because he's, he's, he's trying to threaten pushing it to the next level next turn. Sure. Which is six six pro everything. I was gonna say instead he can just swing in and then post combat play plague engineer and kill whatever blocks. Uh, uh, well, I don't know that he blocks with anything and lives. He's looking to trade with the axe drinker and then chump uh, goif. goif and then take two. Yeah, it looks like that's what happens. Yeah, hex drinker interesting inclusion. I don't want to. I don't want to say it's. Good or bad, because the card's just weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know that this this deck ever gets up to enough mana to <sighs> utilize it consistently. He just, drew, he just drew a lightning bolt. What is he gonna do? Blood braid again? Well, I mean, he can bolt uh, Dark Confidant and not be dead on board, <laughs> but that's not really playing to win. I want to I want to see Tyler. Can since it's one sided, Plague Engineer is one sided. I almost want to see him name something else. Lurgoif. Yeah, I could see that. I no, could see. That's a path. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was how he was getting in. I want to see Plague Engineer come down and him just name like, like when he's ahead, obviously now, because right now he isn't. Yeah, now he's behind a bit. Um, does he swing with this? No, 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 no. no. I don't know. He. <laughs> He might be able to get away with it. Might. In his hand, we know about a Plague Engineer. That's a threat. Bob going to draw, uh, make him draw two cards this turn. <laughs> Anthony leaves the card on the table and then goes, no, I want, uh, sorry, I'm not going to finish cutting your deck. That, that one's on the bottom now. Well, here's the thing. If he attacked with that, if he attacked with the elf that turn, he threatens lethal next turn? Theoretically. So... Anthony puts the cards on the bottom. He looks at his bottom card of his deck and then puts it on the bottom. Uh, I should hope not. Does he? I haven't been paying attention. What what effects has he been using that put cards on the bottom? No, no, no. It was when it was oh, when he when just cut. No, when he just cut it. Second. Oh, oh, is that what you're talking about? I don't know. I was talking about when he cut just a second ago when I was mentioning him telling someone to put a card on the bottom. Yeah, uh, that's not. Right. I'd have to go back and watch that. I have no idea. I'm not on uh, the cascade trigger. I suppose I can rewind it and see. Yeah, use use your your editor instant replay in a second. Anthony is still in trouble here, to be honest. All right, these are the two cards he's putting on the bottom. What is Plague Engineer naming? Oh yeah, you're not supposed to do that. You definitely need to not do that at, at Compa Real or he gets fucked. Yeah, you can't do that. I'll have to tell him later. Yeah. What is that Plague Engineer on? I have no idea. <laughs> Wolf, maybe? That would be the strongest. Well, it actually wouldn't, but... Yeah, that would be... I think the answer would be human, would be the best one. 
It gets this, it gets Noble, it gets Knight of Autumn. I'm going to go out there and ask what that's on real quick. Okay. Because that could be relevant. Yeah, it's going to make it extremely hard to get life totals correct if I don't know what that's on. So you can play and low will pack Strinker this turn. So it's level four now. Uh, you can now profitably block everything. Next turn he can put it to what is the level eight, mm -hmm. the final level, and that's protection from everything. Uh, that may only makes it a six six though, so it's not lethal here because he gained <laughs> yeah, two life already. Yeah, but it does become the ultimate blocker. Alright, so does he... Hmm. I don't know what, what he's going to do here. He has no way to push through 9 damage. <laughs> Anthony talking to himself. That Huntmaster is a 1-1, one, one, bro. That thing looking weak. Yeah, it's a 4 mana 1-1. One, one. I imagine he's probably going to not play a spell this turn to flip it. Yeah, you have to. Blows up the Plague Engineer. Yeah, that's that's why you have to, because that's... I know, but what's that card in his hand? Is that a second to Coddle? I don't know. I, whatever it is, I think he would be playing it if it was a creature. But <laughs> you'd think, but then you got to flip that Huntmaster. Um, if it's a Bloodbraid Elf, you cast it. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, you probably don't. What is he thinking about? You trying to activate Stirring Wildwood? Yeah, it's an option. It's not a good one because y you you do like two damage to your opponent and then yeah, it's or no, it's like it's, it's like just six damage, but then you lose like all your creatures. And yeah, Tyler loses nothing but Plague Engineer. For what it's worth, that is half his board, but all right, he's not gonna do it. Don't count him out yet. He's a big boy. He'll make his own decisions when he gets a chance. One mana. I think that is a wild Nakano in his hand. Well, if he casts that, he's not making a wolf token or gaining life. Yeah. Or wait, no. Other other side. Uh, it's deal two, and he's not dealing two. What is the what? What else does the other side do? I think it has a second effect. Does two damage? It's oh, it's two to each yeah, the player to and to the and target more. creature. Jeez, he keeps taking it. Oh, he's just conceding. That's fair. Oh, it was a noble. Oh, okay, yeah, so it just dies to plague noble. engineer. Jeez, Tyler, Tyler slugging it out. Yeah. This is now on five, right? <laughs> yes, it is. I was about to bring that up, too. So... Uh, I should mention, Anthony's record is 3-0-1. Tyler's record is 3-1. and Oh, okay. Interesting. So the top table didn't want to play? I guess not. You should give Anthony a heads up now about the bottom of his deck. Yeah, I will do that now in between games. Yeah. I don't know why he did that, because, like, when he's mulliganing, he's not picking up his deck and putting the cards in the bottom. He's just sliding them under like everyone else does, so. There's probably an act. Yeah, I know. I, I trust Anthony. I'm just saying that, like, if he goes to a competitive REL event and does that, like, he's getting he's he's getting some kind of penalty. He hit me with the well, you know, I haven't seen any of the cards down there. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you haven't. <laughs> I, I'm very sure you are not not aware of what the problem is, but still gotta still gotta try to do things the correct way. Jeez. That's a good start. Yeah, it's not good for him. Uh, what is that last card? Bolt? Yeah. I don't know that I like leaving Thought Seize in your deck in this matchup. On the draw, I'm less about it. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine, though. It clears the way for your ant. Your, uh, well, it's certainly way. fine on the draw when your opponent does Mountain Go and nothing else. I don't like taking pain for it. Here. No, he had no reason swamp. to do that. I don't understand why he uh, did that. To get to develop green mana on turn one at the same time, because he does not have another color. He's gonna so so next turn if he had, if he had played Swamp, he couldn't play Ren and Six on two. Oh, uh, okay, sure. But now he could theoretically. This hand looks like garbage. Uh, this by has the way. to be the spellbreaker, right? Takes bolt uh, to leave Ren and Six alive, or or to leave Bob alive. Yeah, either. I imagine it's more likely to be Ren and Six here. On an empty board, I think you play Bob, right? It's hard because like Ren, Ren and Six doesn't really do anything on its own. No, uh, it gets lands back, and what it's about to do is. Be able to get a fetch land back. Yeah, I'll get a fetch land every turn. Guarantees thins his deck, which I I don't want to act like thinning your deck one time matters, but doing it multiple times over the course of a whole game does add up. Yeah. Um, Play he'll Bob start getting card advantage. Yeah, that's where I was leaning. I think they're both card advantage is the thing. They're they're both different kinds uh, of card advantage. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Ren and six is like sort of card advantage. <laughs> I I don't think I'd strictly say it's card advantage, especially when it's just like not pinging anything and only getting you lands back. I don't know. I'd just much rather have Bob on an empty board. Although maybe if I'm Shocking and fetching myself down to 14. I don't want to be playing Bob. But yeah. Know. Play Spellbreaker. Get in at Ren and Six. Put him to one. Yeah, now this is kind of rough. Uh, uh, on Tyler's side, do you mean? Yeah. Uh, he's got Bolt and Assassin's Trophy for both of the things Anthony can do here. I think he's in good shape, actually. But he never really got... He never got a ton of value from... Is it 13? Why is he at 13? Well, oh, well, the fetch, obviously. Yeah, I was just about to get that. Um, well. Oh, the yeah, you did, you did. Yeah, you didn't get the right, right. Land. Um, Yeah, well, here's the thing. He's going to keep getting this land back, keep thinning his deck. He's going to kill Spellbreaker. Goif takes another damage. Yeah. His life total is low, but there's one, two, three card types in, in the graveyard already. Ren and Six dies somehow. That's a Yeah, that's another fourth. one. He's going to have a land in play in, in his graveyard when he goes to combat. Mm -hmm. So it'll be potentially up to five. Shalai. Uh, that that would be really strong if not for this Assassin's Trophy. Right. Or, or this Fatal Push, which is probably the one you're actually going to use on this. Yeah, well, I would have cast Assassin's Trophy if not for drawing that. Mm -hmm. Very powerful draw. Go fetch. I imagine this is Basic Swamp. And here's the thing. Ren and Six has been generating value this whole time, uh, guaranteeing his land drops, which has been huge. He's had He has still has just one land in hand. Right. He wouldn't be hitting all these land drops without Ren and Six. And... I think it's at sixteen. Uh, oh yeah, there shock. was the there was the extra thing there, and then the shock. Yeah. Yeah. Gets in for a bunch. Should some poor sequencing there. One, two, three. Still. Anthony goes to thirteen. Yeah. Now he'll play Bob. I don't. I don't know if that's poor. Se well, yeah. I guess you attack into Shalai first and just let him. Well, no, no. Block. You you fatal push it first, 
and then attack with Goyf uh, while the land's still in the yeah, yard. That, yeah, that, that was that the would style work sequencing too, issue. Yeah. I would prefer that the land still be in the yard. Jesus! How is he... Okay. The, the blood braided clutch. He, yeah. He, his four drops are mighty powerful. I'll say that much, but he's been bogged down by not being able to curve into them. Mm -hmm. He's just been getting to the point where he just plays one a turn. <laughs> Wild McCoddle came in this turn. Attack... Ren and six. He's going to put Bob in front, I hope. I personally think Bob, um, putting Bob in front is huge. Especially since he still has that canopy land. What he's going to get to... S oh. I was going to say, what he gets to start doing is sacking it every turn. And drawing a different card. Sure, let's go Bob. Oh, that's kind of rough. Yeah, he has some poor hits still in his deck. Two Assassin's Trophies in hand. Skelemental. Skelemental is going to clear Anthony's hand out if he goes for it, though. That's pretty big. I mean, he can do Skelemental plus a trophy, right? Yeah. So that's pretty good. Very mana efficient as well. Does he have basics left to grab? I think he has one. No. Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's putting himself real low. Anthony getting antsy. He knows... He knows. I mean, if he's got, like, bolts and stuff in his hand, he's about to be pretty sad. Oh, wait, no, he saw the Skelemental, so he knows what's happening. Yeah. Trophy that guy. Takes one off Peatland. Down uh, to three. If it's a path in his hand, this is kind of rough. He just, uh, Tyler just took one off the Peatland. Yeah. What is, what is he doing? Oh, he's trying to count the card types. Yeah, uh, the only new thing that was added was... Land. Land again, so he's it's still four. What's the fifth? Instinct creature, land, sorcery. Well, I don't know. He just concedes anyway. Instinct creature, land, sorcery is ten. He gets to hit for oh, 12. Oh, the, the run and six is in the yard. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen damage kills him. Congratulations to Tyler. That was a stupid match to watch. Yeah. I don't want to act like it was like not interesting, but... <laughs> There was a lot. It was just people throwing punches and not not a lot of uh, ducking or dodging. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I don't. Uh, everyone everyone um, claims they want modern to become more mid-rangey, but they don't actually want that to happen. Because then do. you just get this. I do. Really? 